Hi guys and welcome to Soft Hints. In this video I will show you how to query two and more tables and I will show you how to do it with join or without join and we will see some examples for joins before to start with the examples and the queries I will show you a joke about SQL you can see uh, how to write your CV if you don't know SQL so do you have any expertise in SQL? no? doesn't matter write expert in NoSQL so if you don't know any SQL then you're expert in NoSQL according to this joke and maybe this is a good start for your CV and about the joins here you can see some diagrams which are trying to explain the joins in a simple way which you have uh, some tables here with records and you can see which uh, join what result is producing and you can see the uh, syntax here uh, here there is a you can find a bigger picture here and you can print it or uh, bookmark this page if you want to deal with joins and understand them in a better way with non venn diagrams so let's go to our database we have these tables three tables we have boys uh, we have this data insight, we have ID, name and relation. This relation is to table girls where we have ID and name. And finally we have a table couple with boy girl and a description for the couple. Is it nice, funny or boring? And let's see how to query information from these tables. Here we are querying by using join, left outer join which is uh, giving information from both tables with the null values from the other tables if we don't have match so the uh, matching is uh, based on this uh, relation and as you can see we don't have a match for Daniel and James and we have null value from the corresponding table and the same is for uh, the girls you can see that Anne and Olivia don't have a match so this is explaining why we have these results here and if you see uh, the inner join uh, this is giving only the matches without the no values so we have only the first three rows and this can be done in MySQL and any other SQL with inner join and you need to point uh, what is the relation between the two tables so instead of where clause in the joins we are using on clause and here is the same we have uh, giving the relation with on clause which is based on this table here uh, on this column sorry and this column is uh, linked to this id from table girls and for example let's say that you want to uh, join not join but uh, query the two tables without a join and to get the result of the inner join then you can use where clause and this is equivalent of this join and you're putting the ta uh, the column from the second or the first table to be equal to the column or table from the first or second table and you can see that you have exactly the same result and finally if you want to query more than two tables you can use this same syntax here you can see that we have a table couple which is leading usually I'm putting uh, the where clause statement on the first position for the leading table let's say and here we have uh, this data boy girl and name and we have uh, the column of the leading table here to be equal to the second table and the 
second leading column from the leading table to be equal to the next table. And if we run this, you can see that we have uh, information about all couples based on the relations that we described. So here, if we add another record, for example, let's say three and four, and here we put a boring couple, or we can put no SQL couple, then we should see the information here. And as you can see here, we have this information. And maybe you notice that here the information is about all columns, but they are with repeating names and this can be misleading. Uh, for example, Oracle is going to change uh, this column name and is going to add the table. But uh, here you can see that order is based on the table order from, uh, from the from clause. So if I change this, I expect that uh, the order of the output columns is going to be changed and as you can see here we have a change. So that's all for uh, querying many tables. You can see some of the examples here. I will put all them in the description below. I will put some additional useful information for queries. If you have any problems or suggestions as always please do share them in the comment section below and i will try to answer them so thank you for watching and see you next time